Yo, 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 what's going on? It's your boy Shadow back again with another you. Can y'all see me? YouTube video. <laughs> uh, today, what I got for you, um, I'm going to make some more sublimation prints. Um, <coughs> one of my old partners, she is out of town. Her sublimation printer went down. And thankfully, I still have my Sawgrass SG100. Yep. So, what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to basically um you know she said she want 20 copies i think i got like 18 19 sheets i'm right on the money with it so i'm going to print these uh, transfers out for her so she can go on about her business and yeah yeah, yeah. so what we want to do all right so this is my tip my secret tip y'all so make sure you pay attention all right so basically uh what i do it, you know it prints 13 by 19 with the bypass tray i always size my eyes, as you see I don't size it 13 by 19, because if you do that, you're going to have that red error message. <coughs> so if it says incorrect size, yeah, because you got it directly 13 by 19. You need to do 12.8. You got to get it real close by 18 point whatever. 18.7, that's, that's cool. Make sure resolution is at 300 pixels per inch. If it's at 800, if you're trying to get swanky and trying to do 1200, it ain't going to print. 300 that's all you need 300 um yeah and then basically you go to create this is from my other laptop of course uh, click create all right cool so from there we have our i want to get the image that i need it's a pecan okay there we go and i believe she already has a size she says she needs it like 11 by 17 so i think it's already sized up like that so let's see. Um, let's see what we got. Yeah, she already. Yeah, she already done sized it up. So there we go. And the only thing I'm gonna do is save it. I don't like this new Photoshop, but <laughs> I'm gonna do save as save it. <coughs> I'm gonna put pecan. All right, let's save. There we go. 12 okay all right so now we should have pecan ready on here all right and when i cut back so this is going to be the um the prints so when i cut back um there's going to be a shot of me printing it out setting it up and all that good stuff all right all right so we are back we are back uh you see i still got the same ink same ink uh what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open this little package up Let's get this joint in now. Squish, squish, squish. Hold on, I'll break this. Yeah, it's been doing me pretty good. Um, I recommend it. Some people say that you know it mess voids your warranty. It might do. You know, it, it may definitely void your warranty. All right, so we got the ink. It comes with this little message here. Um, let's see here. Let's cut this open so we can get to the next step. So wish you you you. All right, so I haven't. The last time I used my printer was it's been a while. It's been a while. Um, I did have to relocate due to unforeseen circumstances. Moving to a new spot. All right, so I got my tripod set up on the leg. I'm just gonna take this out the package. But I would say the last time I used this, man, it's been a minute. It's been a minute. Uh, but ever since I moved, last time I, well, I moved into my new spot in March. So, um, if you guys wasn't aware, I had a little house fire. And luckily, some of my stuff was salvageable. Thank God. Our printers were salvageable. So, okay, low ink. This is low ink. So, I got to replace these two. All right. Let's do it like this. We're going to go in there. Uh, these two got to go. One, two. And I noticed that if you have your ink sitting for a while, then it's definitely going to dry out a little bit because I had it sitting since March and I had to get some new ink. But this is like the first, you know, the first. I probably had to get some ink beforehand anyway but this is the first time i've gotten new ink and changed it and things like that 
So, we're about to load this up. And it's still working, y'all. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's working. I used it one other time with low ink. But uh, let's see what happens. I'm going along with y'all. All right, maintenance in progress. Let me get this loaded up and plugged in. Plugged into my MacBook. Still the same printer. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a great printer. Once you get the kinks out of it, you get the hang of it. If you um, use these steps that I'm telling you, and look, boom, it says ready. <coughs> Everything is filled. <coughs> if you use the steps how I'm giving it to you, then you should be all right. So what I'm going to do with the settings that I gave you, I um, sized the image to 300 um, DPI pixels per inch. Um, and its size was it? It's not 13 by 19. It's like 12.7 or whatever. A little less than uh, 13 by 19. I'm gonna go to open local file. Let's see. See if I remember how to do this. Um, what did I save it? I saved this pecan ready. There we go. All right. <coughs> there we go. 12.8. That's what I size it as. I have quality. I'm just gonna click print. See what we got, y'all. See what we got. See what we got. All right. So it's ready. I'm going to put the paper into the back. I still got the tape, little tape set up back here because it grabs like two sheets of paper. But I think it was grabbing that much paper because of the thickness of the paper that I was using. This is like 120 G, so it's a little heavier and it holds much ink. Um, that's my hypothesis, but I'm gonna keep that back there because I don't want it to mess up. All right, so it's sending the information to the printer. Let's see how long it takes. We just wanna wait until it prints because it still takes a little while to print. <coughs> I will say like a minute or so to print. It's gonna send the, uh, the data to the printer. And in the meantime, make sure you guys hit the thumbs up hit the like button hit the comment button subscribe to the to the channel definitely need to know what you guys want to see i got 1500 subscribers so i know one of y'all want to see something i'll make anything any video for you any video for you all right let's see what we got going on what is going on print manager all right you should be printing out real soon real soon and the clock is there we go. It popped up. There it is. So I told you it takes about a good minute. I was getting a little worried that it wasn't going to print. <laughs> but once it prints, it prints a beautiful job. Shouts out to Sawgrass. Um, it's a great printer, but the learning curve, I, I could, un, like, for somebody that's like, you know, a beginner. Hopefully, you know, before you buy this product, you have some knowledge on how to design, how to <coughs> work with printers. Like if this is your first printer, you know, hopefully you find a representative with good, you know, customer service because yeah, or hopefully my videos have been helping you guys out. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully my videos have been helping you. But yeah, it seems like everything is working. Um, this is just an update on the sawgrass. I know somebody commented on my old sawgrass video. Um, it's over like 10,000 views. Shouts out to y'all. Um, yeah, they want to see, give, get an update. So this is an update video. Um, this is how the colors are coming out. The colors are coming out pop, 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 popping. Like usually it come out a little duller than this, but um, shoot, it's coming out real good compared to, I see it almost looks like the, the daggone image. It almost looked just like the image. Now that's 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 rare for like sublimation prints because sublimation prints they usually come out a little duller. But look at that. <coughs> look at that y'all. Look at that. Look at these rich browns, these reds, and blacks. I mean this this is looking good. This is looking good, I'm telling you man. This is looking real, 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 real. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's, yes, it's reverse. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. My color set. So this is what I use. I use polyester fabric. 
I've been using this since I since um I got this new ink. Text print art paper. Source auto. It's going to be automatic with the bypass tray. Anyway, high quality. Um, let's do layout. This is what I got the settings for the layout. Preserve layout from design. I always design it Photoshop first. Um, jobs. You see that? 12.8 by 18.7 color. Photographic. Color sure palette. Uh, I don't mess with none of this stuff. Other material. Yes, sir. All right, so y'all, once again, um, I just want to give you an update as well. Um, what I do, I have to print 19 of these, right? But <coughs> I'm still learning this printer. It's been years. Um, if you were to send 19 of these files to the printer, <coughs> straight off the top, you already know how long it takes for it to, um, to actually send to the printer. Like it takes a minute. If you were to send 19 to it, it would take a even longer time to send all those files to the printer because the connection, I mean, it's a high speed. This is a lightning cable. This is the SG-800. The connection is a little bit slow, um, but it's, it's not bad. And then you have to just, you know, I like to feed it one thing at a time, but you can try it. You can try it. Feel free to try it. Um, also, as you saw, I create my files in Photoshop. I do not use Creative Studio. Um, a lot of people have been complaining, saying that the ink, you know, um, that it's put, if they use this type of ink, and as you see, you know, you see one pack, two packs, three packs. I got more packs of this stuff. I got this stuff laying all on the floor everywhere. This stuff, I mean, this stuff, I, this is all that I use. Um, they say it print lines through it, but I, you know what I'm saying? I don't, if you use Creative Studio <coughs> instead of this method, it's gonna take even longer to send one file to the printer as opposed to 19. So I think that's a that's a big hiccup in somewhere with their um, with their software or their, 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 their platform. The Creative Studio needs to be updated. It needs to, they just need to get rid of that for real. Um, but yeah, yep. This is number two. This is number two. Yeah, yes, sir. All right, all right, y'all. Um, yeah, so yeah, once again, Sawgrass, this is a great device. Um, I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, even though I use these off brand uh, ink cartridges and waste tanks, um, what just happened was. It couldn't, it recognized the ink take, but this little, I don't know, I guess I have some damage on mine. Whereas this little side piece with an ink cover, it doesn't shut all the way. I think I bumped it against the wall sometimes, but that was my fault. And it, it stopped printing midway. But once I closed the, um, I closed the lid, it started printing again. You know what I'm saying? No lines, no nothing. It's still coming out. I think it stopped printing like right here, like right here. But it, you know what I'm saying? It started right back up. It knew where it, where it left off. And it's no kind of, you know what I'm saying? There's no kind of indication that it stopped. You know what I'm saying? Like it still look good. All right. And as you see, these are all printed out. Um, she, at first she wanted 19, but then I guess to drop down to 11 so that ain't too bad all right so as you see these are all printed out shouts out to another good business owner another good t-shirt owner and i only got one more to print oh yeah one more to print i'm gonna take you over here to the printer let you show the ink levels look at that look at that still filled up after all these print quality came out good on every last one of them i mean these look whew, these are good and shout out to XC Inkjet Sublimation Ink. Shout out to Cart Lee. If you got the uh, Canon Pro 10, you see, this is all I use. I don't really use the manufacturer's ink because it's too much money, man. They say some money, man. I'm telling you. But yeah, shout out to them. <coughs> and shout out to all of my subscribers. Um, I want to have giveaways and all, all types of stuff, but y'all need to comment on these videos, man. <coughs> if you got any value out of this video, hit the like button, hit the comment button subscribe to the channel
Yeah, hard working hands. Yeah. All right, once again, is your boy Shadow. Go get it, types. Have a great day. Peace.